Hey gang, welcome to Keyboard Skills Pro. In this video, we're gonna take a look at learning some more about how to use the circle of fifths to work out things when you're playing, composing, and performing music. Please do hit the subscribe button and press the like as well if you're gonna enjoy this video, we hope, as we go through. Um, hitting subscribe and liking obviously helps my YouTube channel grow. So thank you so much for considering doing that. It just takes a moment. When we use the circle of fifths, we can use it to help us with composing pieces and also working things out. So in today's lesson, I'm gonna show you how to use the circle of fifths to find out the notes in major and minor chords. Now, whilst, whilst we might know most of the notes in some chords, sometimes you're gonna come across pieces where maybe there's some chords that you don't know, F sharp major, um, A flat major, C sharp minor. And I'm gonna show you how to work out chords using the circle of fifths. So let's put the circle of fifths on the screen. And uh, if you wanna get a copy of your own personal um, circle of fifths chart for keep from Keyboard Skills Pro, you can sign up uh, to patreon.com um, forward slash Keyboard Skills Pro, and you can actually download the circle of fifths from there free of charge. Um, by becoming a patron of my channel, it helps support what I do and also helps the channel grow. So let's say to start off with, we wanted to work out the notes of an F major chord. Well, first of all, we look on the circle of fifths and we find the F on the outer circle. That gives us our key note and we'll play F down here for the purposes of this demonstration. Now notice to the side, we've got an A just to the right there, look on the inner circle and that's the next note in the F chord. And then above it, look, is the C. And what that does is it creates a little triangle shape, which I'll pop on the screen now for you. And so if you remember that triangle shape, key note over to the other point, and then the final point of the triangle shape, that gives you a shape to remember to give you the three notes of a chord. Isn't that great? Let's do another major chord together. Uh, we'll show you it. Let's go to the other side and pick D major. So there it is on the right. We'll grab the D note. Okay, and we'll put our triangle shape in. So F sharp, and the next one is gonna be A. Hey, hey, isn't that great? So all the notes in that little area all relate to the notes of the major chord. Let's do another one together. What about if we did, ooh, I don't know. Let's do uh, A flat major. That's on the bottom left, okay. So we're getting into some flats now, but not to worry, the circle of fifth has got us covered. So we grab an A flat. Let's do our triangle shape, C, and of course, E flat. There it is, and there's the chord of A flat major. So that's really good, isn't it? But what, what, what if it was a minor chord? Well, if it was a minor chord, we would use the same shape, but we start in a different position. Let's try C minor. Okay, so C minor is on um, the minor chords and minor keys, we use the inner circle as our starting point. So here we go with the C note, look. Okay, and again, we'll do the triangle, but this time, instead of starting on the outer circle, we're gonna start on the inner circle, go out to the inner circle, then come back in. So we're gonna play um, E flat, uh, sorry, C rather, then E flat, and then of course G. And there you go, all in that little triangle shape. So absolutely fantastic. So remember that everybody, you can work out the notes to any major or minor chord very simply by simply remembering the little triangular shape. Really fantastic. Let's do one more, because I did promise you some hard chords, didn't I? What about if you came across F sharp major? Well, F sharp's on the, the south pole of the circle of fifths. So I've got my A sharp, look. So I've got that right there. Now I'll put my triangle over the top, look, there it is. So I've got that, I've got A sharp, and then back to the outside C sharp. Do you notice that when you do a major chord, both the key note and the fifth are on the outside circle, because obviously they are a perfect fifth apart. The inner note is on the inside of the uh, of the circle. Okay, so uh, let's do one more. Let's do something a bit more snazzy. Uh, C sharp minor, there we go, that's over on the right. So I've got C sharp uh, there. I'm then gonna go out to E, and then of course my um, uh, uh, G sharp there which of course gives me my C, my G, C sharp minor chord. Now, the two notes this time are on the inner circle, look. 
the tonic and the fifth. So let's remember that. So your tonic and fifth are always next door to each other. The middle note will either be on the inside or the outside, depending on whether it's major or minor. So that's how you do it. So um, yes, we, we probably know C, F and G, and we know D minor and B flat. But when you start getting to those other chords, it can get a little bit more interesting. And sometimes we can't always remember the notes, but the circle of fifth says God has covered. So there you go, folks. So remember that, the triangle shape, the three points of that triangle shape link up the three notes of either a major or a minor chord. I'll pop this in a bonus PDF for you folks, which you can get on my Patreon page. Sign up and support my channel. Once again, please do hit subscribe and the like button. Just takes a second, give us a like, but it helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching everybody. My name's Tom Horton. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel, Keyboard Skills Pro. We'll see you next time for more sun and fun with the circle of fifths. Bye-bye.